Alex Dish, we are talking squash. It is that time of the year already. And uh, joining me is Bill Valentine, uh, produce manager here at Quillen's. And uh, Bill, all sorts of different varieties. And I think it's hard for people to kind of keep them straight. So I thought we'd talk about the different varieties that are out there this year. And uh, we've got everything here. This is a spaghetti squash, these two here? Right, yeah. This is the traditional elongated shape of the spaghetti squash. But then they've been coming out the last couple of years with this new hybrid. And it's uh, more, more of a round shape. Okay. Also, with the spaghetti squash, if you take the spaghetti and the acorn squash, you hybrid it and you get the delicata or the sweet dumpling squash. You can see the shape from both those type of squashes sure. came into this one. All, and then we have the, my favorite is the butter cup squash. Okay. Two different varieties of that. Sometimes they have the inner cup area to it, and other times they might be just uh, dark green and don't have that inner cup. Okay. And then we have the butter nut squash. That's got a very smooth tan skin and it has pear this shape. pear-shaped. Um, and then we got the acorn again. And this is a really nice one, good example of a good, ripe, ready-to-use squash. It has that orange side to it. Sometimes they don't have an orange side, so then that way you could test by putting your thumbnail through the skin. If okay. it doesn't go through, it's tough and it's ready to use. It's good and ripe. Already some good advice there. And also the great thing about squash, besides being very high in nutrient values, but if you cook it and freeze it, it won't degrade at all. It'll come out the same way that you put it in. So it's great for soups. If you, you buy a bunch uh, when they're on sale, uh, cook them, freeze them, and you can add them to soups and stuff later on in the season. You bet. Take advantage of uh, sales that we have coming up and uh, put it in the oven all at one time. Take it out, prepare it just like you're going to eat it, and then uh, put it into uh, freezer Ziploc baggies, and you can uh, microwave it later and thaw it out and add it to soups, to casseroles. It's, it's a great thing. All righty, Bill. Thank you very much. Some great advice there. That is today's Let's Dish. He didn't have to sell us on squash no, because you know, we both like it. I had the acorn tonight just with some butter and brown Acorn's sugar. one of my favorites. And if you want to try something different, next time you make spaghetti, instead of using pasta, use spaghetti squash. It's really yummy. And put the pasta sauce over the spaghetti squash. You'd plus be surprised. It's, plus, it is very good for you, too. Very, very healthy vegetable. So you can't go wrong with it. All right, stay with us back in just a moment.